Look at how sticky that is, guys. Incredible. You guys wanna learn how to make these ribs? I didn't even use barbecue sauce. Cheers. My goodness, they're so rich. Mmm. This is the way to go. 100%. What is so special about Korobuda ribs, guys? Let me explain what Korobuda means. Korobuda is a type of pork that comes from a specific country in England called Berkshire. The name Korobuda comes from the Japanese term from black pig, since the highly revered Berkshire pig is largely black in color. These heritage breed hogs originated in the English country and have been around for centuries. Berkshire, basically, it's a wagyu of pork ribs, if you will. This is what I can tell you guys. I've tasted this pork and this is the reason I bought it again because it was fantastic now let me show you guys how to prepare this stick around we're gonna go ahead and clean this up just a little bit get yourself a sharp knife and you just knock off this skirt steak right here this is gonna be a little scooby snack for us for this guys I'm not gonna mess with the membrane because we're gonna cook this over live fire all I'm gonna do is just score it. So I won this clap from YouTube. I ended up getting first place, yay, yay, yay. Anyways, I won some seasonings and I had no idea I had this in my cupboard. I did taste the rub and let me tell you, absolutely fantastic. And this is what exactly we're going to use. Put a little bit of hair and just season it. Man, it smells good right out of the bottle guys pro tip taste your seasonings out of your bottle before you apply it to your meat therefore you know what kind of flavor you're gonna get it smells smoky I did taste it like I said it has like a little sugar note on it but and pat that in beautiful just beautiful put a little bit on the cutting board let's see not much just a little bit and then we'll get our sights Today we are using our kanka. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Pretty simple to set up. Screw it in, basically. Let's get a nice tight fit. Go to this one, that's it. That's our setup for our kanka. Just go ahead and put it on here. Just like that, guys. And then we're gonna add our second set of skewers. Like this, put our second skewer on. That's it. I like putting the meat more towards this side. Let me flip this over. It'll be easier to work with. And that's it. Push as tight as you can. And that's what's gonna hold the ribs together. Danka brother, if you're watching, big ol' shout out to you, my brother. Quit Nelson, my Kanka brother. He's a guy that bought the Kanka grill as well. And he's told me he's done several cooks on it, guys. So, I recommend that you guys buy one. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by them, but it's okay because the Kanka's badass, basically. All right. So all I'm doing is just, cause this is gonna be flopping around. So we need to add a little bit of support. We're gonna add these skewers in. Something like that. Doesn't have to, doesn't have to look pretty. Just as long as it does the job. All right guys, I'll see you guys outside. So I have two pieces of wood. This one's much lighter, and this one's much heavier. It's more dense. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in because I want more smoke flavor on the ribs. Just a little pro tip, because it's more dense, it has more water, so it'll produce more smoke, more flavor. And you guys already know, self basting meat is the best, is the way to go. Light fire cooking, in my opinion, is the best to go. Stick around guys, don't go anywhere. This has been going for 45 minutes. I'm not gonna sauce these, we're gonna just leave them as is, because I really wanna taste the pork. Since this is a Korobuda, AKA Berkshire 
pork rib. Self basting at its best. Sometimes I don't have the right words to explain, but when that fat hits that fire, hits the coals, the aroma that comes out of it, it's unexplainable. Not only that, it's flavoring the wood as it goes. You guys seen those briquettes that have garlic, they have all kinds of crazy different flavors, but this is a true meaning of real flavor on your firewood. All the drippings from the rib. You can just hear it sizzling every time it hits the coals or the fire. It's just gorgeous, guys. Just, it's a beautiful thing to cook live fire. 187, 188. See right here. 193, 195. Wow. This is pretty quick cook, guys. Probably an hour and a half into it at most. Let's see right here. We're at 167, 168. On this one right here, 200 on the tips, which is expected because they're exposed to fire more in the center of the rib. All right, guys, stick around. Bring you back in 20 minutes. So this rib right here is done and this one's not. So what I need to do is lower the kanka. So when you lower the kanka, we need to shut off the motor and just lower it down. A little bit lower so it's a little bit hotter down here and then we turn it back on. See how low it is from the pit? I'm already starting to get some nice pullback on this rack and it is temping. This was temping at a little over 200, which I'm okay with because of the high marbling. I need this one to catch up. So what I did was bank the coals to that side, added another piece of red oak to this side. Therefore, we get most heat on this rack of ribs right here. They're almost done. This is probably, this is probably gonna take two hours to cook. Next time you see these ribs, they'll be inside on the cutting board. Stick around, don't go anywhere, guys. Look at that, guys. Beautiful color. Nice pullback on this one, because this one was closer to the fire. Even the bones coming off. Gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna let these rest. Five minutes and we'll dig right into them, guys. Oh, cuts like butter, guys. Cuts like butter. Look at that. Check that out. Beautiful bark. Some char. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Incredible, so juicy, absolutely juicy. <laughs> Talk about the best pork ribs I've ever had in my life. Freaking delish. My goodness, they're so rich. That char. Mmm, that self basting that we did, mmm, incredible, incredible, live fire is the way to go. Thank you for watching 805 Barbecue Junkie, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, if you like what I do, give me a subscribe, gracias, catch you guys on the next one.